Right, I've been a bit clever when I've cleaned my plate off this time, so that I don't get any sort of really big soaking wet sections. I've really given my plate a good dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bit of water and I'm gonna start looking at this section here. So obviously we're blending blue and red together and we're going to make the secondary purple and then the intermediates or the tertiary colours, whatever you want to call them around that. So I've put my water over here. I'm going to start with the red colour first because I do think red is lighter than blue. And blue is going to be more dominant than the red colour. So I'm just making sure again that I'm getting plenty of that pigment off my colour palette by giving it a good hard scrub. And then I'm going to go in with some blue. Excuse my computer making noises in the background there. And I'm going to go in with my blue. And I'm going to start mixing it together. Now with this, you kind of have to be a little bit patient and you just have to keep on going until you get the right amount of both colours in order to get that real purpley colour because at some points it will look like brown but if you keep on going and you keep on persevering like you can see mine's starting to get there now we are starting to get a more purpley colour and to be fair it's not until you start painting it on your work that you'll really see it start to look like purple there we go i'm just going to test a bit on my paint here it still looks quite mauvey at the minute so i'm just going to keep on going And because these colours are both quite strong, you will automatically get a quite a dark colour. So what I sometimes think works best for purple, and feel free to do this as well, is to add a little bit of white in and then you can see already there, we're getting that more purpley colour coming through. So I'm going to get a little bit more. So I think I'm starting to get to a colour that you'll probably all recognise a lot more as purple now. So I think I'm probably about happy with that. Right, so then what we're going to do is again, we're going to get our colour palette. 
colour wheel worksheet back in between the red and the purple we're going to go in towards the centre and we're going to start painting out from that point that purpley colour and again just because I want to with mine towards the end I'm going to come out brighter like that and then I'm going to do the same thing as I did before so I'm going to split my colour in half and then in one half I'm going to get my red again really really scrubbing up that red and I'm going to mix a whole load more red into it to make a very very ready purple and then I can bring my colour wheel back and you see you get almost like a wine colour for this one a red winey sort of colour and then I'm going to get my water again just because I want to with this one and I'm going to have it come out towards the end and then I'm going to get the other section and this time I'm going to get more blue and again really scrubbing the surface of that blue and then giving that a good mix with what I've already got and then I'm going to cut and use that in that little section there and you can see what I end up with is almost like a navy colour almost. Just a little hint of red in that blue now. A little tinge of a purpley colour. And again, I'm just going to water mine down slightly. Towards the end, I think I'm just going to come paint a little bit more with the darker back in the middle there, and again, fade it out. And then once you're happy with your painting, then that's that section done.